Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we'll create a Windows executable file from a Python script. Let's create a Python project with PyCharm Community Edition. We'll call it Converter. We'll create a new virtual environment for our project and click Create. It takes just a moment. Let's create our code in a file called converter.py. Our application will use an API to convert one currency to another. We'll need to import requests to make the API calls, and we'll import the OS package too. We'll need to install the request package in our project environment. Let's click Yes to confirm installation. It was installed successfully. Let's continue coding. We'll need an API key to access the REST services that will do the currency conversion. I've created an environment variable on my machine where I've stored the API key. OS.environ will read the value associated with the API key and store it in the variable API key. Now let's prompt the user for the input. First, we'll get the currency the user's converting from. Next, we'll get the currency the user's converting to. These will be currency codes. We won't do any error checking on this. Next, we'll enter the URL for the REST API endpoint, and we'll create our query string as a JSON object. We'll use the Rapid API service, which is a marketplace of APIs. We'll set to and from with our user input from above. Q is set to one. This means one unit of the currency will be converted. Next, we'll enter the headers. First is X rapid API key. We'll set it to API key, the value I got from my environment that I was provided with by the rapid API service. X rapid API host specifies the host of the API the request will be targeting. This is an identifier for the API that we'll be using. Now we'll make the call and set the output to a variable called response. We'll call request.get and pass in the URL, the headers, and the query string that we just constructed. Finally, we'll do a slight bit of error checking. If the status code in the response is 200, we get back a good response. We'll use an F string to print the results. One unit of the expression from currency converted to to currency is the JSON that comes back in the good response. Else, we print an error message that we failed to get data. Let's give the code a quick test and run it. We'll convert from EUR, the currency code for the euro, and for two, we'll say USD for the US dollar and we get back a response that one euro is about 1.083 US dollars. Great, now let's convert this to a standalone Windows executable. First, let's remember what's in the project folder. And let's install a new package. We'll open Python packages. Under installer, we can see the packages installed in our environment now, including requests that was installed just a moment ago. Let's install pi installer and click install. 640 is the latest, so we'll take that. It takes just a moment to install, and it's done. Now let's open the terminal window, and from there let's type pi installer. We'll enter the name of the script for our application, which is converter.py, and we'll add the option dash dash one file, so we get a single executable file that contains all the dependencies for the Python program. That takes just a moment to run, and we get a success message. Notice in the projects folder, there are two new folders. Under dist, we can see a file called converter.exe. In our terminal window, let's see the end of that directory and run dir, there it is. Let's run that file. We're prompted for the from currency, we'll say USD, and for the to currency, we'll say EUR. And we get the crossways conversion that we did just a moment ago, and we see that one USD is 0.923 euros. Thanks for watching, and remember to always begin secure.